But do you think like, okay, him being with April when he separated from his wife is one thing, but him being with April allegedly when he was still with his wife could cause a whole different impact on, like you said, his proceedings. Do you think, do you think his frustration is that you said what everybody else was saying or that you were insinuating that the timeline could be a little different that would cause complications from him based on information you had found other places that people had maybe not put together? Um, I think it was the second. But even still with that, you don't come on the first phone call with Dominion. I literally mapped out for him a timeline and I had it all like just sitting in my face. And I'm like, you can go to these different places and see that these things are coming from her page. Like you guys posted something back that I guess that she had posted in November where she had mapped out like as she was coming to the end of the year, blah, 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 blah. Um, and that she was happy that she finally found a gentle man, you know, and, you, you know, I think you got, it was either you or something, somebody posted something from her page is a point. Um, and she'd mapped out like all these great things that had happened to her, even though we were in a pandemic as the year was coming to an end. And now fans were suspecting that the whole time it was this man that she was referencing back then. So going back as early as November, it there was you know, speculation that it could have been him. Then she did an interview on Madame Noir the day before uh, the TMZ stuff hit and said that she was dating. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, she's talking to someone and those people are talking. Why are you talking to me though? Because this has been out there since December. Whether y'all put it together or not, I'm telling you it's tangible. It's there. Go look. And then leave me be. Go ask her how somebody knew back in December that this was a situation. Two things when I was listening to the phone call popped in my mind. One, this is Dr. Dre who has an unlimited amount of resources, who is extremely powerful, and who's had uh allegations in the past of being very aggressive if not abusive and threatening towards women and then there was also the empathy that we have for dr dre being a cultural icon who just was released from the hospital for suffering an aneurysm and maybe being concerned for his health was any of that going on in your mind when you were on the phone with him um initially yes so when you heard that second call right um you did not hear aggression in my voice. I actually was stunned when he came out the gate with a, a phone punch, <laughs> you know, like it was, you could feel, and I just was like, wow, like this is how you start a conversation with a woman. Can you, you, say, can you tell people what he said? I mean, we can't play the audio, but do you want to tell the people what he um, said? Well, the minion called me and was like, basically confirming that I was on the phone. I say, yeah. He says, hold on. He comes back to the phone. He says, Dre. Dre is like, yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. So now he's confirmed that it's him. But the yeah was like, it wasn't like, yeah. Or, you know, hey, how are you doing? It was, yeah. And I'm like, Whoa. like stunned through the phone, you know? And then he was like, um, what's up? And I was kind of just, I think, taken aback. And then he said it again, but more aggressively. And I'm like, nothing is up. I'm in my bed and I would like to go to sleep. And there was a long pause and he said, hmm, that's nice. Why is my name coming out your fucking face? I see you all on the internet talking about me and April and all this. Shit. And I was like, okay, but I didn't say anything negative about you. It don't matter. You don't because no, I said, you know, I, I said, I don't know you. I've never met you. I've only heard great things about you. You're a musical legend. You're an icon. Like, I've said nothing negative about you. So is that wrong? But you, you're right. You don't know me. Bit this clown. I think he first he called me a bitch. Then it was a stupid bitch. Then it was a clown ass bitch. And then I went off. And then he was like, man, this bitch, this stupid bitch. Lower your mother tone, bitch. Who the do you think you're talking to? And then I lost it. Because I don't give a f who you think you are. Y'all are really playing with me tonight. 
I don't understand. And then it dawned on me like this is literally to scare me out of the interview with Jason tomorrow. And so dumb because all you had to do, call my dad. Hey, you know, we worked together, not over a short amount of time either, for a while, recently. And I know that April and Mo have a thing or whatever, but, you know, I don't want to be dragged into whatever they got going on. I know she has an interview coming up tomorrow. It was brought to my attention. And I just want to make sure that I'm going to be left out of it. At which point my father calls me, who I have the utmost respect for, and would never put his business with this man in jeopardy. I would have said, Dad, don't worry. It was never going to be about them. This was because Jason is giving me a, a chance to, you know, just check in after leaving the show. And I said, Jason's done nothing but defend him during his divorce, you know, everything that we've seen. And I ended up telling my dad this anyway. Both, I know Jason is a fan. I know that I was a fan prior to last night. I know that you just worked with him. So I was never, that was never going to be what was taking place ever. Maybe a key key or two about what I did say. No, I, mean, I mean, honestly, in all fairness to you and to Dre, I mean, we love Dr. Dre. We've, I have been defending him during his divorce because I don't understand why a damn phone bill is $20,000 a month in his proceedings. And I've, and he's a cultural icon. I mean, he's done a lot in tech. He's, 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 he's important to the culture. So for me, I was su surprised that there was a perception that I would create a space where I would collaborate with you to, to attack him. Like that wasn't even, honestly, right. it wasn't even on the radar until the video started popping up. So yeah, I mean, I, I can validate that, that Dr. Dre was not a part of our conversation, nor was April. I mean, April has moved on. We've moved on from the show. I've had a great ending on Love and Hip Hop with April. I don't, we don't even talk about April. So it, it wasn't even about that for me. I was surprised though, to hear the call and hear how tense it was. And I was wondering like, were you ever afraid for your safety? Because Dr. Dre is a very powerful person. Oh, yeah, because then when I woke up the next morning, I received a call, um, and I can't say from who, but um, an A-lister, um, and she was in tears and was like, you don't understand what's at stake right now. This is a very powerful man. He can do whatever he wants. He can stop your career, but even more importantly and bigger and scarier than that, what's at stake right now is your safety, your son's safety. And there is no interview with Jason Lee today. There is no interview, period. There is no more talking about this. And you really need to consider taking a vacation and clearing your mind. I was like, wait, what? You need to you need to go away from social media at least 90 days. I said, no, wait, what is happening? My eyes aren't even open. And she was like, well, open them because it's that serious. And I was like, what? The total what? And I sprung out of bed. I popped out of bed like a spring chicken. And then immediately my dad was like, I need the audio. I'm about to, I'm about to talk to Dre. I need to, to, so it just went haywire. 